From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA Late. We have incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. 2022, what are we talking about here? In this recording, we'll go over the incredible great news about your fourth stimulus recon and the passage of a vote overnight in the House that signals a tee up of the Senate. What's going on? It's breaking news. This big, bold, live broadcast from Santa Monica, California on mornings. We're going to go over the passes of that bill in the House overnight that is teeing up something very important for the Senate and your recon starting on Tuesday. Then we'll be turning to the incredible money of the Senate changes across this recon that have so far paid at least $15,000 of multiple checks, including that MSC. But more checks could be coming across the board, upwards of fifty dollars to $60,000 out of the latest details in today's recording. Third stimulus, upwards of $45,000 still paying. And you're getting another round today. How can you do it? I have the latest details today on mornings, live and direct from Santa Monica, California. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that. Plus, the stimulus, the latest details happening with that cola rage. You've been asking questions yesterday when I was live on air on noontime and I answered them in that recording. I'll go over more about it today as well. But a big major vote happening on Tuesday. Chuck Schumer calling a major vote after a passage of a legislation in the House overnight. The latest financial data coming in from Wall Street about labor numbers, about Omicron, about inflation. And the new comments from the White House signaling that the recon will become law, that the White House is still on point to get it passed. All this incredible great news on a big, bold, beautiful morning because guess what? The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the coffee is brewing. I'm here, I'm back with you, and the bacon, uh, well, at least we got you some digital bacon. It's a big, bold, beautiful morning. I'm all excited about all the incredible news we got for you. The excitement starts right here, right now, as Mornings LA gets underway, direct and live from Santa Monica for its first new broadcast of 2022. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Well, the House passed a major legislation overnight, and this is important for the Senate and your recon. I'll explain the latest details. Going into a Tuesday vote on the House, on the Senate side, very important. It's brand new, it's breaking, and it's right now live from Santa Monica on mornings. The Senate changes that incredible recon. We'll have the latest details on that with these checks, many checks in this four symbols recon. Going to your wallet, including an MSC that will pay at least $15,000, maybe upwards of $60,000. The third stimulus still paying out money. And I'm going to show you how to get another round of it today in January 2022, live and direct from Santa Monica. I'm excited to be back on air with you on this morning's broadcast on a big, bold, beautiful weekend. Student loan debt, forgiveness, the latest details on that. Fifth stimulus, what you need to know about that cola raise, all the latest details on that. Plus those details and more. And what's going on with inflation, Omicron, and also the dramatics of Tuesday. So much happening. I'm getting you caught up to date because it has been a lot happening since my absence. I'm excited. You're, I'm back with you. I'm excited we're here. So go into this video and hit that subscribe button right now. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. So hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss a single video across the board of what is happening at any particular moment. Let's go to the incredible recon and all these incredible clusters of checks that, and we're gonna start over with each of them one at a time and then go over the dramatics of what Chuck Schumer is doing on Tuesday. There's about $15,000 of checks in this incredible recon, for stimulus recon across three clusters and three add-ons. Let's look at each of them, starting with the first cluster. Hazard pay got in there. $4,000 of elder care. $4,000 of care for young children. They got in there. The home repairs if you live in a low-income community. $12,500 for the purchase of your of a new electric vehicle. They got in there the uh, uh, $12,500 for the new electric vehicle. And then they got in there the home repairs if you live in a low-income community. They got in there, additionally, a first add-on. And who did that first add-on come from? Maxine Waters. She wanted to give you $25,000. It will be a little bit less. And what is it for? 
for the purchase of your first new home. Lingland, Ryan, a lot of you as this channel are very excited about this. Again, this is money for the purchase of your first, first home. She wanted to give you $25,000. It's a little bit less. So let's go to the second cluster of checks. Here we go, home repairs and paid leave. So these home repairs are a little bit different. This is to weatherize your home. At the time of this broadcast, you're watching it live. It's currently 9.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in Los Angeles on Saturday morning. Guess what's at issue? There's a major tsunami in the Pacific that it is set to strike Southern California beaches in the next few hours. Everyone from Malibu down to Palos Verdes needs to be on high alert. And this is what we talk about when we talk about weatherize your home. We're not normally sustaining tsunamis here in Southern California, but this is what weatherize your home is referring to. And this is cluster number two. They got in there, paid leave. $1,700 of VMIC, $70,000 or more per year. $35,000 annual salary, that would be $800 a week. If you make $15,000 annual salary, it would be $400 a week. How many weeks per year? Up to four weeks per year. Uh, and yes, that is four to $6,000 on the high end. Let's go to the second add-on at checks, and it comes from the illustrious Bob Casey. $250 billion. This is for home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Incredible. Let's go to that third cluster of checks where we find the true deliciousness. In that third cluster of checks, a lot of money. Seniors and free internet are among the provisions in this third cluster. So what is in this third cluster? Here we go. We have free school meals for all checks, immigration reform removed, cheaper prescription medication, the free internet, the money for the farmers, the free, the money for the independent contractors, and then the seniors, two provisions added on the House side, two provisions vowed to be added on the Senate side. On the House side, they got in their hearing and the Medicaid gap fix, but on the Senate side, they vowed to do dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. From 65 to as low as 55, Bernie Sanders wants it, Bob Casey wants it like 60. That's important because guess what? Where we're looking at the recon right now, and this is where I wanna get you caught up, is that the recon is sort of like it's in the Monaco Grand Prix. You know Monaco, it's around, uh, it has a little bit of a bay, and the cars go around Monaco. Monaco Grand Prix, it feels like we're in the Monaco Grand Prix, and they said we're going to take a break. A break? <clears throat> yeah, we're having a croissant break. I don't like croissants. There's too much butter in there. Well, just pull over to the side of the road, sir. <laughs> it's, we're pulling over to the side of the road, meaning that... They never got to add their provisions in there. They never got to remove their provisions in there. Doesn't mean they finished it, just they didn't, didn't get to it. It's on hold mode, sort of like you're on the side of the road in the Monaco Grand Prix. We're going to get to it at a later date. So Bernie Sanders, all his provisions, he never got them in there. Ron White and Liz Warren, all their provisions never got in there. Doesn't mean it's not going in there. Doesn't mean it's not in there. We're not done. We don't have a finished legislation bill just yet not because they don't care not because they're lazy not because they're delaying because the dramatics of tuesday will make it easier if chuck gets it done i'll explain what the dramatics of tuesday are in just a second after the commercial break but let's go to that third add-on of checks and you know what it is you know what we're talking about with that third add-on of checks that of course is the acronym on this channel of m s c MSC refers to multiple IRS stimulus check. The reason why we use that wording is because the recon has lots of checks, multiple checks. But this is the one that would come from IRS. The M refers to monthly or multiple. And this is the one that would come from IRS. Back in the month of May, viewers of this channel kept on advocating to senators and were told by thousands of viewers were told by those senators, it's going in there. And what did those senators say? that it would be the same as a third stimulus check. Let's go over eligibility. Single individual, 75,000 less, would get it. Married couple, 150,000 less, would get it, double it. Family of four, quadruple it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, you would get it as well. It's not income, it's not taxable, it's not state by state or city by city or county by county, it is a national program. And that MSC is one of many provisions in there across the board, not any more important or any less important than any other provision in this recon. And those legislators say they want to give it to you. Now, what's important to understand is that you need to advocate. And the advocacy is a little bit different right now because we don't have a vote set up. 
today or tomorrow, but you need to keep them in the loop. Why? Because these are legislators and their job is to advocate, is to work for you. And they need to know your interests. And if you have an interest, you need to vow, express it to them. And that involves picking up the phone and telling them, hey, I need it. And your narrative may be far more elaborate today than it was in October, if you made the phone call in October. Why? Maybe you have Omicron. Maybe uh, your community, your town, or your church, your family, your business is totally different now than it was back then. So pick up the phone and advocate. And who are you advocating to? You advocate to those six centers. Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Tell them why you need it. What's at issue? Why is it important to you? Again, Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Now, let's be very frank with the situation. We do not have a finished bill. We do not have a finished body of legislation. So categorically, do not call up and ask, is it in there? In what? Is it in what? They don't have a bill written. The bill ain't done. They still haven't made their modifications. So don't be calling up looking for it. Don't be calling up watching or wait, look, looking around for it. Moreover, if you see anyone in the chat or anyone on social media or anyone in a comment saying uh, it's not in there, they don't know what they're talking about because the bill is not finished. That doesn't mean they don't care. doesn't mean they're dragging their feet. It's because there's a lot of dramatics of how to get these things done across the board. In the second half of this video, I'm going to go over more about what is happening and why this Tuesday is so important. Uh, there have been a lot of things that have happened since my absence. You're watching a brand new broadcast live from Santa Monica on a Saturday morning. And boy, this Tuesday is going to be dramatic like you've never seen. And I don't think in the history of this channel have I ever had a, a day in which there's a vote set. I don't know all the dramatics of the vote. Fellow senators don't know the dramatics of the vote. It's a cliffhanger. <laughs> it's a cliffhanger like we've never seen before. I'll explain to you what we know about the cliffhanger and what is at issue with the cliffhanger so you're ready for Tuesday. It is something so critical, so important, and it's happening in just hours from now on Tuesday. We'll be turning to that incredible recon that will pass in the Senate. The new comments from the White House overnight saying it's going to get done. Yes. Amen. The Senate changes. We're going to go over more about that as well. We're going to go back over to the incredible checks in this recon. Then we're going to go over to third stimulus. You got money before, before, once, twice, three times. I'm going to show you how to get more money as well. Student love tech, tech, forgive us the latest details on that. Cola. You have had great questions about Cola. I'll explain the latest details on fifth stimulus, Cola, and the new economic data, inflationary numbers. That kid with a purple shirt told you in the Spring last year, that inflation would be 8% in December. It came in yesterday at 7.5%. Federal Reserve said it was going to be 2. Wall Street said it was 3. I said 8. It came in at 7.5%. All the latest details on that, plus all the demands you need to know going into Tuesday's vote, why this vote is so important, all that and more as we continue live on air to from Santa Monica with our first brand new Mornings LA broadcast of 2022. Stay with me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And excitement continues right now. In the second, second half of Mornings LA, live from Santa Monica on a Saturday morning. Student loan debt forgiveness. The latest details ranking on mornings of them. Those details coming up in the second half of this video. Cola raise 5.9%. What is this impacting your check? And when will it impact your check? And how is inflation kicking in right behind that? What's going on with this stimulus? I have the latest breaking news today. And coming up in the second half of this video, we'll be turning back into third stimulus that's paying viewers big sums of money and how I'm going to show you how to get another round of third stimulus today even if you got it before we'll be turning to the fourth stimulus the incredible checks in that fourth stimulus the changes that have come from the senate including everything you need to know about checks checks and more checks and the passage of that house bill overnight and what that means for that senate vote on tuesday those dramatics, those details, those excitement, it's all come up the second half. But first, I want you part of this incredible family. Go under this video right now and hit that subscribe button. I want you part of this incredible family so that you get all the incredible information you need to know across the board of what is in this incredible sums of money. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. When you subscribe, you don't want to miss a single video. This is Allied, America's number three most watched financial news channel. America pushing to get to number two. New slate of programming already unveiled overnight. With the new Overnight's Allied rebranded overnight. The new Sunrise Allied, which airs before early morning's Allied DLA on this channel. And the new Metaverse Crypto. A hit new show that aired last night again. And a new set of crypto metaverse, a new set of metaverse shows coming to this channel as well. It's all about making you money. It's all about putting money in your wallet. It's all about making you financially independent. It's all about the bacon. <laughs> Those details are more as we go into the second half of this video. I'm excited you're here. And with that, let's go over this incredible dramatics of what Chuck Schumer is doing on on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And all the excitement starts right here, right now, as the second half of Morning's LA gets underway. Here we go. What happened? Chuck Schumer is now been sent a body of legislation by Nancy Pelosi. Overnight, then the House of Representatives passed a voting rights bill. It has nothing to do about checks. There's no checks in there. But it has everything to do about your checks. Let me explain to you why. Nancy Pelosi passed the Voting Rights Initiative bill as sort of a token bill to send it over to the Senate. This is part of a chess move. It's part of a strategy move. It is now in the Senate. On Tuesday, Chuck Schumer will call a vote on the Voting Rights Bill. So he has said that, number one. Number two, he says that he anticipates the Republicans will try to block the vote. Number three, he believes that at that point, he will tee up a vote to change the Senate rules. Whoa, that's a lot in just 10 seconds there. Let's recap. He's calling a vote on the Voting Rights Initiative bill in the Senate. He says the Republicans are going to block it. And then he says, okay, you block that. So we're going to call a vote to change the Senate rules. Ooh, this sounds like it's being set up. Yeah, it's, it's all sort of a domino effect, which is being pre-orchestrated. The storyline, the script has been written and planned out. Now, what is going to happen thereafter? That part, we don't know. We don't know how much the Senate rules will change, if he'll get it done, if he won't get it done, how quickly it'll happen, and how dramatic it will be. The thought process is it's going to pass in some format that the Senate rules will be changed on or around Tuesday. Boy, if that happens... That means it makes it easier to pass your fourth stimulus recon. Yeah. So what is this like? It's basically Nancy is giving Chuck a token bill that she knows there's going to be opposition to for the Republicans, which will tee up a reason to call a vote on changing the Senate rules, and then the hope that the Senate rules will get changed by the vote, and if they do, then everything else behind that, like the... Fourth Civil's Recon will get passed. It's brilliant. It really is quite brilliant. I don't think in the history of this channel I've ever had anything like this where I can't really tell you what's going to happen because 
Chuck Schumer's keeping it close to chess. He's not even telling people what his plan is. The White House knows the plan. The White House says that the force of recon will get passed. A new quote that came out uh, in the last 24 hours is from Andrew Yates, who is the White House's spokesperson. The quote says, basically, the force of recon, a.k.a. the Build Back Better Act, a.k.a. the BBB, will pass. Uh, Andrew Yates, Bates, I'm so sorry, who is the White House spokesperson, says every major economic bill has passed under this administration, like Second Stimulus American Rescue Plan, like the bipartisan infrastructure, but they've all had ups and downs, they've all required work, and they all got done after we turned out the noise. What does this mean for you and me? It means that the number most, one most important person for your recon, the President of the United States, is vowing and promising you it will get done. That's all you need to hear. You don't need to hear anyone else. Now, I certainly have printed out in my hand a series of quotes from representatives who are in the House who represent districts of 2,000 citizens. <laughs> I don't need to run their quotes because guess what? They have nothing to do with the recon. They are just sort of, they're sort of part of the Congress. It's ultimately the president's call. Does he want to get it done? Yes. Does he think he's going to get it done? Yes. How is he going to get it done? By zoning out the noise. This is important to go over what that means, zoning out the noise for you. Zoning out the noise means that you're not going to hear Senator number one say bad stuff and Senator number two say good stuff and, and feuding words to the press. You're not going to hear that. Those viewing words are often helpful to you and I. Why? Because it gives us updates. First, as a reporter, it's helpful because I get updates when people fume in the press. I learn if a provision's in there, if the provision's in jeopardy, if the provision's being increased, the provision's being removed. It's like if Joe Manchin says, I hate paid leave, then I say, okay, maybe it's in jeopardy. Example, right there. So if we don't have that, we don't have an update. And if we don't have that, what's important for you to understand is it doesn't mean it's not getting done. It doesn't mean it's falling apart. It doesn't mean the money is not in there. It means they've been told to zip it, do the work, pass the law, don't go to press and run your mouth. Keep it quiet among the family. <laughs> Quote like a godfather scene. It just that's how they're doing it. So do not expect to see quotes from Bernie Sanders every 10 seconds. Do not expect to see quotes from, from uh, Liz Warren every 10 seconds. And if you don't see the quote, don't think there's nothing new. Don't think that there's nothing in there. Don't think this is how they get things done. If you've been with this channel for over a year, this is often how they get things done quickly, is when they sort of zip it and they work on it. And we have to rely on stuff like Andrew Bates says, we're working on it, work, but we're keeping our mouth shut. You want that. And that is how we get these things done. Let's go over all the incredible provisions of this for Simmons Recon one at a time. And let's look at some of these incredible checks in there, how they work and what they are. And we'll start with the SALT cap. The SALT cap is how much you can deduct on state and local taxes on the federal tax return. Currently $10,000 on the Trump administration, but raising up to $72,500 under the for Simmons Recon. They got in there also cheaper prescription medication, growing from 20 medications in day, day one to 28 by the year, uh, 30 medications by the year 2028. They got $40 billion of free job training in there across the board, very important across uh, Americans who need to take, who want to take that higher paying job. Now they'll have free job training. They got in there one of the, uh, the Medicaid gap fix that provides insurance to people in Republican states that have vowed never to provide that low-income Obamacare, the Democrats got a workaround plan in there due to the wonderful workings of Raphael Warnock and Joe Manchin. It was his eyes idea. A workaround plan that provided years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in those incredible states. Which then brings us to one of the best provisions of the recon. You know what it is. The housing. The housing provision. Two provisions new and the other ones reoccurring. The two new ones are home repairs, if you live in a low-income community, and weatherize your home. And the other two provisions are, or the other provisions are reoccurring from third stimulus, rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. And with that, let's go over those details of how you get these incredible sums of money starting right now with the rent. Here was a graphic of the rent back in October. It has grown a lot. It is now upwards of 40000 
you have new details, I have new details for this third stimulus for you right now on Mornings Allied. You're here for the first time on Mornings Allied, starting right here. I want to go over the details that are brand new starting right now. So, the rent, it is upwards of $40,000. Now, when third stimulus became law in January 2021, I said I can get you about $15,000. Viewers got $45,000. Then they got another round last summer. Then they got another round last Christmas, about $15,000. But guess what? You can get another round today. What do I want you to do with these rounds? First, let me go over where you get the money, and then we'll go over the rounds. All right, let's go over the money first. Where do you get it? Six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. The keywords are going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage, a utility assistance because of COVID. You must get multiple applications on file. You must apply everywhere, and you must get multiple rounds. Let's go over those multiple rounds right now. So, January 15th, 2022. Pick up the phone call. You want to get the rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, all these sums of money, as far out as possible in 2022. Shoot for April, shoot for May, shoot as far as you can shoot as possible. Maybe start with the organization you got money from before. Maybe they say no, maybe they say yes. If then go to the nonprofits, they're off each of the newsletter. Get these sums of money as far out as possible across the board. These are the sums of money for rent in October. By December, they grew to $40,000. They're still growing across the board. Now, I have more about um, the, the rent right now, which I want to go over, which is very important. If you're a member, you get that newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that features the nonprofits. The nonprofits, their money comes from donors, benefactors, and their calendar year is often January each year that they get replenishment of funds. So if you reach out to a nonprofit in December last year, they say we're out of funds, they may have a whole slot of money right now. So reach out to them right away. Next, utility assistance. Do the same thing. Mark's brother-in-law, he got $15,000, grew dramatically. Then get SNAP. Give it to Department of Agriculture. Eligibility is easier than a stimulus check. This is money for your food. Pick up the phone and contact them and get that money for SNAP. And boy, Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years. It is $250,000. Next, get combo items. Here's Nisi and Art Sullivan. They got three. Inspired a whole generation of viewers. Mark is at two items at 32000 I said, Mark was your third. He got his third. Brought him to 50000 uh, here is Mark with 50000 Then Mark grew to 100000 The range she was at 105 and Now she's at 120 which gives us the incredible story about Johnny. Johnny truly embodies the spirit of the Purple Power and Third Stimulus. Johnny is a three-part story. First, a few months ago, Johnny was watching as two other viewers that week were with $0 on money, Monday, but by Wednesday, they each had $45,000 from three programs approved. The difference with Johnny was that he continued to push throughout the rest of the week. By the end of the week, he had seven programs approved and $80,000. Why do I like part one of Johnny's incredible story? It's because he kept on pushing, and to get seven programs approved, he had to make at least 15 phone calls. Why? This is very important for you to listen on this part. You're going to have a rejection rate on the phone upwards of about 50%. Don't worry. Don't worry. There will be one out of every two phone calls. They will say, no, I'm sorry. We don't have it. We don't have the money. We're out of it. We're gone. Don't worry, because that's what Johnny did. He didn't worry. And he got seven programs approved from out of 15 phone calls, $80,000. Part two is an incredible story. It came from Johnny. When he reached out to his two family members the following week, he said, I got $80,000 last week from LA. They said, I haven't heard about this anywhere else. Let me explain what's going on. This channel, if you haven't become a subscriber, subscribe right now. If you haven't become a member, become a member right now. LA Light is the number three most watched financial news channel in America. We're going after number two. They cover certain subject matters. I don't cover their certain subject matters. They don't cover my certain subject matters. Very different type of financial news coverage on this channel. This is what I do better than anyone else in the United States. I got viewers $250, $25 million of EI deal loans in April and May of 2020, saving their businesses, their homes, and their families' homes. Then, fall 2020, $250,000 in the thick of the pandemic with those very little money for rent. I got it for viewers. In the last year, for third stimulus, I have no idea how much money it's been. It's been millions and millions and millions of dollars. I've gotten viewers for third stimulus money. 
I know how to get people money. I know how to make people money for crypto. I know how to make people money for metaverse. I know how to do these things. This is why people are watching this channel, subscribing and becoming members, because this is where you make money. And that is why you want to be part of this incredible family. Part three of Johnny's incredible story came in just a few weeks ago. 32 people kept on coming over to Johnny saying, Johnny, can you help me? Sure. What do you need help with? That thing that LA does. Okay. He helped to 32 people. He got them $850,000. That is what you can do as well. So get these incredible sums of money. When we do these rounds, get this round as far as you can across the board. Let's go back into the... Um, as I almost wrap up this morning's broadcast, it's going to be a slightly shorter broadcast for this morning. Uh, as we go back into fourth stimulus, let me go over the other provisions in this incredible fourth stimulus and what is important for you to know in these incredible checks across the board. So also in this fourth stimulus is the nutrition. Uh, people who are not in school, about $65 per month. They got in the Pell Grant, $550 check, the $12,500 for the new electric vehicle. They got in there um, a lot of provisions, but they did not get their provisions done yet. So Bernie has not put in dental in there or vision or um, and Liz Warren stuff is not in there yet. Ron Wyan stuff is not in there yet. No cause of concern across the board. They're not done. Next, let's turn to fifth stimulus for just a blink of an eye. Your COLA benefits are going up 5.9% this month. So if you've gotten your new Social Security check for January 2022, you will see that it should be 5.9% more than it was last month. That's your new number. You're not going back to the old number. What's the issue here? Your benefits are assessed based on COLA every December. COLA is a horrible benchmark. It usually does nothing for anyone. So you often have seen no change in your benefits year after year. Because inflation was higher, COLA was 5.9% this last December. So your benefits, your Social Security check and other checks are going up 5.9% starting this month. Now, this stimulus looks to come in and change that. Why? Because COLA doesn't work generally. They want to replace it with inflation. And inflation is going up. In May of this year, I kept on covering fifth stimulus. I said inflation was going to be 8% in December. I thought I was too high. No one was talking about 8% except me. Jeremy Siegel was a 20%, Water School Business Professor, but Wall Street was 2% J or 3%. Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, 1% or 2%. Same was transitory, temporary, going up in December, coming back down. I said, ah, I feel 8% and I feel not transitory, not temporary. I was right. The inflationary rate came in on Friday for December 2021, last month, 7.5%. Wow. I was right on the money. I was right on the money. This is before Omicron. Omicron is now causing its own inflationary events. So let me go over what that means for you as we wrap this short, shorted, mo shorter morning broadcast. Omicron is causing its own inflationary event that is not good. Why? Omicron is causing staff's in businesses to be out because they're sick, they're at home. 20% of the staff is out, 30% of the staff is out. So if the staff of the business is out at 20 or 30%, what happens? They got to pay overtime to the people who are not out, or they have to bring in temp labor, temporary employees, and pay a, a higher rate of employment, or they have to do something and spend more money to cover that missing employee. How do they afford that? channel the pricing over to you generally. So they'll take the bread and bring it from $3 a loaf to $4 a loaf, or the coffee from $10 a, a, a pound for beans to $12 a pound for beans. That's how they do it. And Omicron is not going away this week. It's not going away for a few weeks, 1.5 million new cases. So this has caused its own inflationary event. What I want you to know is we're gonna be watching this, we're gonna be covering this, we're staying on point on this. Coming up next today is a lot of new shows. Um, based upon my availability and my scheduling, because I was hospitalized for the week, I'm now out of the hospital, uh, my schedule is a little bit mercurial, so I'm trying to get shows done. There will be a new Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock. It was just taped, so we do know that. Um, the 1 o'clock afternoon show is always an encore show. And we will see how things run. Um, we, you will know it's a new show if you see the poinsettia plants behind me, this one and that one. 
and tell viewers, if you're on social media, he's back. Some people don't know I'm back. They're confused because they've seen some of the Encore shows and don't realize I'm back. If you see this set, you know I'm back. Uh, and with that, thank you for all your incredible comments across the board. I'm just trying to respond to each of you on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you to follow incredible family. Hit that subscribe button. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning because the toast was toast and the butter was butter and the coffee is brewing. Stay informed, stay focused, stay here. Tell your friends to come on over. Subscribe to the best and darn number three financial news channel in America, LLA. Have a beautiful morning and I'll see you next at noontime at 11 a.m.